Hi guys, so remember the UK government added care workers, senior care workers to the UK social occupation list about two years ago, meaning now employers in the UK could now recruit foreign personnel for care worker roles in the UK. Apparently when this was released earlier, they said that they were going to try it for a year and see how it goes. However, one year came and people were still getting certificates of sponsorship to come to the UK to work as senior carers. I'm talking about nurses, doctors, and even people that did not have any healthcare background. There were lawyers coming as senior care workers, HR personnel, secretary, so many people. And because the requirements were not so high lots of people were able to take advantage of this migration pathway to relocate to the uk honestly this has changed so many lives and from time to time i share some of the testimonies on my community page so i'm sure you guys can see the magnitude you know lots of people took advantage of this and people are still trying to come however there's been rumors around that this pathway has finally come to an end how true is it that's what i'm going to talk about in today's video so if you're interested stay tuned <laughs> So before I go ahead, let me give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, guys. I need to pay my bills, okay? When I come and sit here, uh, I need to get something to pay my bills. So this video is probably sponsored by TransferGo, guys. TransferGo. If you're looking for a reliable international money transfer app to send money from the UK or any EU country or Turkey to African countries like Ghana, Nigeria, etc., guys, I recommend TransferGo, guys. I recommend TransferGo. When you use TransferGo to send money to uh, your loved ones or your family, guys, in at most 30 minutes, the person is going to get the money. TransferGo is regulated by the UK Financial Conduct Authority. This is not a scam. They are legit, guys. They are being used by over 4 million users worldwide. And when you check Trustpilot.com, guys, they are rated the best financial app. And one of the amazing things is their customer support, guys. 24-7, if you need any assistance with your transfers, you can reach out to a customer service and they are very prompt. They're going to respond to you. It's not like the others where it's very difficult to reach customer service, guys. This is very reliable. Whether you use an Android, whether you use an iOS, you can always download TransferGo and send money now, okay? Okay. One amazing thing that has now become my part-time job is referring people using my code that I generated from the TransferGo app. So when you have TransferGo, you can always refer a friend. When you check the app, there's a place where you can generate a link to refer a friend, okay? And when your friends use your link and within six months, they send about £100 between two currencies, guys, you get unlimited £30 rewards. Unlimited. Guys, this £30 unlimited referral bonuses ends by the end of August. So hurry up now. Download the app, generate your own referral code and refer as many friends as possible. It makes some money right but first of all make sure to use my referral link so that i make that money first because i told you okay so thank you so much transfer girl for sponsoring today's video now back to the matter open and close okay so has this pathway for carers and senior care workers come to an end the truth is it has become extremely difficult and i know i've said this so many times okay and i think as of last week i received emails from some viewers or some subscribers that have actually gotten their certificate of sponsorship and are looking to migrate to the uk so that means people are still getting it but like i said it has become extremely tough the reason why this rumor is going about saying that this has come to an end is because first of all as you all know the current uk government is looking to reduce migration drastically okay they first of all were focused on illegal migration and now even after illegal migration now they've moved to legal migration as in people that are coming here legally through their own pathways that they established now they're looking to reduce the number of people that are coming here legally as well that is why you've been hearing all around youtube and on the news that from january 20 to 24 if you're coming as a student unless you're coming to do a postgraduate research program now you can no longer come to the uk where you're dependent okay to reduce the number of people that are migrating to the uk drastically so they're looking at other ways to reduce legal migration so now another way that they are trying to reduce legal migration they introduce what we call a 12 point plan on migration and the first of the 12 points let me read it. these are not my words these are from the government okay closing the scheme which temporarily grants eligibility for worker visas to care workers which the report claims will reduce visa numbers by 117,000. that's the first thing that is on their 12 point plan so guys they are looking at doing this okay this is one thing that they are looking at doing and guys if you look at the current negatives and all the bad things that this care worker visa route has brought about where people are coming with people they claim to be their dependent but are not really their dependent when employers are abusing applicants and charging them exorbitant fees and the worst part is people that have come to the uk with COS okay sponsorship yes these employers did not even have shifts for them guys this has become the norm of the day people get to the uk with all the promises after paying some paying ten thousand pounds etc some selling their properties back home to illegally pay employers to get here and when they come they don't even have jobs for them there are no shifts for them they have employed way too many people and they can't even give them shifts okay 
all these things they go to the government they do hear them plus the fact that they want to reduce the legal migration i know of some people that are currently in safe houses because their employers have caught issues i speak to some of them still trying to find jobs guys it has become very difficult obviously they said there was shortage they needed care workers but from the look of things now it looks like they think they may have enough okay if they don't have enough why is it that you are coming and you're not getting shifts especially in the england areas people are coming and still struggling to get shifts okay and i have interviewed somebody who said that and this person was later you know confronted by somebody from the company and they asked me to take down that video but i'll just leave the audio part of that video here so you can listen so what what visa category did you use to come skilled worker visa skilled worker visa so you you, you came as a carer i guess yes yes Yes, okay. yes. Have you so I guess you've not received your first pay crap. Oh no 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 Nanel hmm. you know what happened? What happened? I applied and, and by God's grace I, I, I have this. But you know I've been here and agents in the crown for me. I, I realize uh they are overstaffed and um they don't call no accommodation as promised. Nanel, and they called me that they can just afford 24 hours in a week. 24 hours in a week. It can't even pay rent, trust me. It can't even pay rent. How much more feeding yourself and paying other bills? So they just gave me a letter that I should go and find another job. Can you imagine? so all these things are terrifying plus the fact that they want to cut down on legal migration so i'm not surprised this is the very first point on their 12 point plan to reduce migration let's briefly brush through the other 11 points okay to see if any of us are at risk as well so another point is raising the main skilled worker visa salary threshold to 38,000 per year which it is claimed to reduce long-term migration by 54,000 migrants per year so as you all know to be eligible to get a skilled worker visa the company that you are coming to work for should pay you a setting amount we call that amount the minimum salary threshold you should meet that minimum salary threshold before you be granted the visa so they want to increase it so that if they increase the amount not lots of companies will be willing to pay international professionals this amount so that means you'll not be eligible to qualify for the visa right then extending the closure of the student dependent route which gives dependents of students the rights to work in the uk to those on one year master's courses which could reduce long-term migration by seventy-five thousand. so that was what i spoke about initially and they're also thinking of closing the graduate route which allows students to stay in the UK for two years following graduation without a job offer which could reduce long-term immigration by around 50,000 per year. If they are doing all this I'll tell you not a lot of people would be willing to come and do their masters in the UK. Ensuring study visas only go to the best international students and excluding poorly performing universities from eligibility criteria which could reduce migration by around 49,000 per year. So now if you're not coming to work for a very known or popular school you'll not be granted a visa. Already this is sort of like the case for people that are going to the US, you can get a university admission offer in some village university in the US, okay? You pay part of your fees, you get everything, you go and apply for the visa and they can deny you the visa. And it looks like from this point, that's what is going to happen, okay? Because now they want the visas to only be given to the best international students and exclude poorly performing universities from eligibility criteria. Another thing is they want to monitor the reduction of humanitarian visas and introduce a cap on future schemes if they do not fall below 168,000 and also ensuring the rapid implementation of the illegal migration bill which could lead to a reduction of at least 35,000 people in the long-term migration and capping the number of refugees legally accepted for settlements in the UK at 20,000 raising the minimum combined income threshold to 26,200 pounds for sponsoring a spouse and raising the minimum language requirement to B1 that's intermediate level which could reduce long-term migration by around 20,000 so that is for people that are here and they want to let's say get married to somebody back home and then bring the person here usually you should be earning a certain amount before you can bring in your spouse okay to make it just a bit tougher for you to come and then also such people that are coming through this part we also have to prove their english proficiency by writing the ielts okay now they want to raise the minimum language requirement to bring you to an intermediate level so that will be difficult for people to pass to come requiring the migration advisory committee to report on the effects of migration on housing and public services in addition to jobs on the market and capping the amount of 
social housing that councils can give to non-UK nationals at 5% and to the number of British families waiting for housing clears. I think this one, it's a bit reasonable. You know, UK nationals should be taken care of first because this is their country before other people are taken care of. I think this makes sense. This makes sense. Raising the immigration health surcharge to 2,700 per person per year. Okay, we know that they're going to increase it, but if this is the figure they are raising it to has not been confirmed yet, okay? So these are the 12 points planned to cut migration to the UK. And like I said, our popular care worker visa is number one on the list. But the funny thing is that when you check my last video, they have said that they are looking to generate over two billion pounds from immigrants through increasing visa application fees and through the payment of immigration health surcharge. The first is we're going to increase the charges that we have for migrants who are coming to this country when they apply for visas and indeed something called the immigration health surcharge which is the levy that they pay to access the NHS. And I tell you that now that you're making the UK very unconditional for immigrants to come in, and lots of international students are no more going to come here. They're going to go to other countries where they will be allowed to take their dependence. So now, are you sure you'll be able to raise that amount, you know, from the few people that will still come? Are you sure you can raise that amount to cater for your pay increase pledges and whatever? That's the question I'm asking the UK government. Anyways, so that's the bottom line. It's only a proposal. There's no official statement from the government as yet. Already has become extremely difficult people come here they don't get shifts honestly it is a high possibility that this is going to be taking you very very soon maybe even sooner than january honestly that's my personal opinion so basically that is that guys that is that what i will say is that i have shared opportunities the same way this uk opportunity for carers came out two years ago and everybody was hooked onto it and applied and most people were successful that's the same way now countries like ireland australia germany have increased other migration pathways to get people into their country to help their workforce okay so guys all i'll say is that don't just target on uk alone okay don't put all your eggs in one basket like i said the uk is becoming very unconducive for aspiring care workers but i have shared videos about how to move to australia to work as a carer or a care worker how to move to germany with their new immigration and pathway that has been introduced and then also how to move to ireland as a care worker as well i have videos detailed videos about all these pathways so that's my advice guys i'll leave links to all these videos i'm referring to in the description so you can click on the link and go and have it for yourself and try all these pathways you might never know which one will benefit you guys so that is it and yes it's very very possible that it's going to be taking off because it's their number one point on their 12 point plan on cutting migration thank you so much for watching